As a gamer, there's nothing quite as exhilarating in life as searching for hidden secrets and easter eggs in some of your favorite video game franchises. It might take years to find, but in the end, it's all worth it just to be able to say you did it. You cracked the code! Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer and ring that bell to become a part of our notification squad so you can stay ahead of the curve when it comes to gaming secrets and cheats. Without further ado, here are video game easter eggs so well hidden they took years to find. Donkey Kong Initial Easter Egg Donkey Kong became a staple of the gaming community early on with some of the best ports we've ever seen. Its writer, Landon Dyer, loves going into detail about how he built the game practically single-handedly. He had no support or reference code, and we're not gonna lie, we completely agree he's entitled to some major bragging rights for this feat. He also mentioned there was an Easter egg hidden within the game that would finally be uncovered in 2008. Don Hodges knew no task was too small for his genius, and so even though Dyer said that the secret was totally not worth it, he set out to find it anyway. Don Hodges was also the one who fixed Ms. Pac-Man's notorious kill screen. You would notice the trouble begins on level 134, and he goes into detail of the troubles on his blog, donhodges.com. Here's YouTuber DevWebCL showing how to find this easter egg. Number 1. Play a game, setting a new high score of either 37,000, 73,000, or 77,000. The digits for the hundreds can be any number, the first two numbers are what really matters. Number 2. Kill off all remaining lives, but your last death must be by falling. Number 3. Set the game difficulty to 4 by pressing the options button 3 times. Number 4. Wait for the game to cycle through the demo screen while Kong jumps across the screen, then at the title screen, the programmer's initials LMD will appear. It is pretty lame, to be honest. IWHBYD Skull in Halo 3 If you're interested in a real challenge, then why not try to get the IWHBYD Skull? It's an acronym formed by the statement uttered by Sergeant Johnson and Gunnery Sergeant Stacker in Halo Combat Evolved. It's from the last level on Legendary Difficulty where he says, I would have been your daddy, but a dog beat me over the fence. The skull was meant to be the most difficult one to find in the game, which proved to be true, but YouTuber Random Chivos showed us exactly how it could be done. The IWHBYD BYD Skull will unlock rare dialogue with just the right amount of sass and wit for both enemy and allied AI. Not that we're saying there's many ways the Halo franchise could get better, but it's lines like this, have no fear, I will cover the rear, or I'm tough, but I have my limits. Chris Houlihan Room in The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Every kid and gamer in America wanted to be Chris Houlihan in the 1990s. Houlihan won a contest held by Nintendo Power where the winner was promised to have their name appear in a game. The catch was that they had to snap a photograph of a rare and elusive Final Fantasy boss named Warmech, and the winner was announced as Chris Houlihan. The trouble was, no one, including Chris, knew what game his name would be found in. How the room was even discovered remains a pretty giant mystery in Nintendo Legend. Although, if the rumors are true, we may know how. YouTuber Madhouse somehow found a way to access the room through five separate entrances. Teen Wolf in GTA 5 1985 was a pretty great year. It was the year the woozles came out, and sweater vests and tassel slip-on shoes were stylish. It was also the year Teen Wolf was released, and who knew the character would make a reappearance in 2013 in the least expected game ever, Grand Theft Auto V. Leave it up to YouTuber WizL to show us how to uncover this hidden mystery. It turns out that the GTA V universe contained hidden peyote plants that, when ingested, would allow the player to transform into Bigfoot. The weather had to be optimal for the character character to manifest, but here's how it could happen. Players have to roar to get a response roar, and this would lead to a chase across the GTA map. Some of these chases could last over an hour, and if you think he looks familiar, it's probably because he does. He was modeled after Michael J. Fox's Teen Wolf character. After the monster is officially dead, the player can skid it and use it in the game's director mode. Counter the Bull Charge in Punch-Out! Mike Tyson's Punch-Out came out in 1987, and yet there are still secrets just waiting to be found in this classic boxing video game. Some of the counters were discovered almost 30 years later, but it probably won't be the last discovery of the game. In 2009, it was revealed in the first bald bull bout that a camera flash was the thing you should be watching to take him out. And then, in 2017, another discovery was made about this extremely difficult fight. Reddit user Midwestern Housewives discovered there was yet another visual cue among the spectators in the second piston 
Honda fight. This second cue tells the player when to throw a punch to knock down Honda with one stunning blow. Of course, this one-punch KO was known for years, although gamers weren't sure how it was being done other than a perfectly timed punch. It turns out there had been a cue all along in the game, and it has to do with the bearded guy sitting in the front on the left-hand side of the spectators. The bearded man doesn't move in the first fight, but it's in the second fight with Piston Honda and Bald Bull where he ducks, giving you the perfect cue to make your move and finally be able to counter your opponent. What was an Easter egg which took you years to find? Are there any secrets you think are still hidden from the world that you'd like to share? Feel free to share in the comments below. Thanks for joining us at The Gamer, and we hope you'll tune in next time. Happy Easter egg hunting!